Students, the most dangerous cycle is the backlog cycle. That is, there is some chapters in your class 11th which you did not study. And you are trying to do your class 12th syllabus. When you try to do your class 12th syllabus, the backlog is left. When you try to cover the backlog, the syllabus is running ahead and no one is waiting for you. So this is a vicious cycle which keeps on continuing when you try to finish a syllabus but the backlog is accumulating. Backlog is accumulating. So in this video, I'll be telling you how do you counter this? You know, how do you, you know, master the art of, you know, clearing the backlogs? How do you go about it? So students, this is the video which I want you to share with all your friends who also have numerous backlogs, who also wants to clear the backlogs in a very short duration of time. Okay, students, my name is Basarat sir, your biology master teacher. Welcome to Vedanta Neat English. Now students, the entire video will be divided into four different segments. One is bonus. First of all is what, when, where, how and bonus. In what, I will be telling you what exactly is a backlog and what you need to do about it. When, what, that is going to be the timeline, how you're going to finish the backlog. Where, where, what do you need to study? Like from where you need to study? Then how, how do you study the backlogs? Yes, there is a proper method, which will help you to revise as well as clear the backlogs. Watch the video till the very end for the important bonus tip towards the end of the today's video. So let's start the first one. First one is very simple, that is, Identify backlog topics. How do you do this? Look at the syllabus. Look at the syllabus. You know the NEET 2025 syllabus. So just look at the syllabus and jot down the points which you do not know. Jot down the topics which you do not know or the chapters which you have not studied. Or if you have studied also but you are not confident about the topic. For example, plant physiology. You have studied the plant physiology once but you are not very confident in it. So that becomes a backlog. Human physiology. You have studied human physiology once, but now it's a backlog because you are not very confident in it. So first thing is going to be what? Make a list. Make a list of all the backlog topics or the backlog chapters. The second thing is going to be by subject wise, by priority. What is this priority? The priority is very simple. That is based on weightage. Now I'll give you a quick example. Living world is a backlog for you. Plant physiology is a backlog for you. Where will you provide more importance? Obviously, the plant physiology. So that shows that which particular topic has high weightage, which chapter or a unit has a higher weightage, show priority for that high weightage. High weightage. So this is going to be the first step, identifying the backlogs where you know, yes, this is a point where I need to improve. First point is accepting it. Yes, you have backlogs. Now, second thing is going to be set clear, realistic goals. Do not make the timetable for an entire year and later on be telling that, no, no, I cannot do this. Set small goals, small yet achievable goals, small goals. That is daily and weekly goals. That is the most important daily goals. This is the day which I do a this topic. For example, in a week, in a week, I am finishing two bio, bio chapters, one botany, one zoology, one physics, one chemistry backlog, weekly topics, weekly. Now students, I'll tell you something called as specific timeline that is very important because uh, the major drawback in your preparation is going to be distractions. And the only way you will be distracted when you know you have free time and you know you do not know what to do. For example, Tuesday morning 10 o'clock. Tuesday morning 10 o'clock, if you do not have a specific timeline, you are bound to waste that time. There is a very high chance that Tuesday morning 10 o'clock, you will waste your time. But if you have a specific timeline, yes, 10 o'clock morning biology, 12 o'clock chemistry, 1 o'clock physics, if you have a proper timeline, you will not have the even the thought of wasting the time. There is no room for distraction then. So keep yourself busy. Yes, you should keep a specific time where you need to relax also. So obviously that should be all there. So create a balanced timetable to make sure that you do not waste unnecessary time. Okay. Now, now you know what, what is done. Yes. What is done? When is done? How you should be doing? Okay. Now students, what you need to study? What do you need to study? How do you like, you know, approach the information? How do you approach the subject? The best way for biology students is going to be NCRT for every single, every single subject. It is going to be NCRT. That is, Use NCRT as your base. This line is very important as your base. Now, after reading NCRT, what is the next step? Especially in the case, case of physics, you need to refer other books, chemistry, other books. For biology, solve PYQs, solve questions. 
that is going to be your next thing that is supplement with reference books usually biology is not required but supplementary books are required for question practice because your ncrt is not enough for question practice your ncrt back exercises will never ask you that questions good quality questions needs to be solved then we have focus on high yielding topics again when you're doing studying always start from high weightage then low weightage always okay now active learning technique now students there are many scientific techniques you will find many videos telling you do this do that do this do that but let me tell you the best method the best method is going to be teach yourself that's all nothing else in the world is better than that try teaching yourself and you'll never go wrong because when you try to teach yourself right you cannot fool anyone that is the best part because you know for a fact that when you when you, when you are not able to teach yourself you will know where you're going wrong there is no you can cheat with yourself you cannot cheat with yourself right so try teaching yourself next thing is going to be summarize notes now when you're teaching yourself obviously you need some notes so in the process of teaching yourself make some notes teach yourself best advice for you okay now last one is going to be incorporate this is the bonus one incorporate daily practice questions daily practice questions this could be dpps every single day 100 dp 100 questions i'm telling you repeatedly i have told all my dna students also every single day 100 questions is a must it should include botany zoology physics chemistry every single day 100 questions and students remember your entire syllabus should be over maximum by january maximum by january after january you should not study anything new after january it is always going to be revision and mock test revision and mock test it is daily mcq practice now there is something called as which i personally believe in it's called as error log when you're revising something or when you're doing pyq practice when you're doing any question practice you will know that some topic you're not able to solve questions for example light reactions you're not able to solve questions dark reaction you're not able to solve questions in biological classification, you're not able to solve the questions from protista. In the cell chapter, you're not able to solve from the eukaryotic cell. Write all those points down in the error log. And when you go back to error log, you will know exactly which point to revise again. Which point to revise again. Which topic to revise again. So keep an error book when you do the MCQ test. MCQ test, attempt the test. You know where you're going wrong. Mark it. Mark it. Practice it again. At the end of the day, I would recommend you to do is the best thing it would be revision. Read as much as possible, do solve questions and you're good to go. That's the only way to clear backlogs. Now you know what to do, how to do, where to do and when to do. Everything is in your, in your control now. Okay, students. Now students, if you are not a part of DNA batch, this is the last opportunity for you because after this, we won't be taking any, I believe. Last opportunity. It is freedom sale and uh, Independence Day. We wanted something for the youth and uh, you know to make your future bright. DNA batch right now is for thousand rupees and uh, look into it. Talk to all the fellow DNA students. They will tell you how amazing DNA batch has been and uh, join right now. Okay, so let's quickly smash the like button if you, this video is helpful to you. If you want any other video on any other topic, let me know in the comment section. I will make a video on that also. Okay, so take care, students, and have a great day ahead. Bye bye.